Okay, friends, today we are going to be working on striking with an implement. An implement is a big word that basically just means an item. So today you're going to use different items and you're going to practice striking a balloon with control. A strike is anytime you hit something with control. Everybody say, a strike, a strike. is a hit, is a hit. With, control. with control. Now, for, uh, just as an example, I'm going to show you with this lollipop paddle. When the music starts, you're going to be at one of the four stations. There are four different items at each one. Please put your eyes and ears on me. You're going to be holding your balloon by the tail, just like this, until the music starts. Anytime the music stops, you will also hold the balloon by the tail. You will take your item and place it in the bucket. And then you're going to stand in your colored square and you will point to the next station. Please clean up quickly so that you don't waste any time. The more time you have, the more chances you will have to get better and better and better and improve your skills. You will take this balloon and you will try to hit it in the air. And your goal, since you are in second grade, is you're going to see if you can get 50 hits in a row with no mistakes at every... Did anybody raise their hand? No. Should anybody be talking? No. I'm going to repeat myself. You are going to try to get 50 hits in a row at every station. That's the wow challenge of the day. If you get 50 in a row with no mistakes at every station, you can hit the wow on the way out. If the balloon hits the ground or if you have to stop and you catch it, you have to start over counting. So you're going to be hitting it up in the air with control. You need to look where you're going so you don't run into people. You're trying to keep that paddle nice and flat. And then when the music stops, hold it by the tail. Place it. Please don't throw it. Just place it in the bucket. Stand in your color square and point to the next station. Then you're going to rotate to the next station. At every bucket, there is a different item. So you will get to try uh, striking the different balloon or the balloons with the different items. Over here is a bowling pin. So you're doing the same thing over here. You're going to hit the balloon up into the air and try to get as many as you can. Hopefully, you can get 50. And then when the music stops, you will stop and hold it by the tail. Please place it nicely in the bucket and then stand in your square. Over in the blue square, you're going to be using a Frisbee. And in the yellow square, you will use a noodle. The quicker that you hold your balloon by the tail and stand in your square, the quicker we can rotate and the more time you will have to practice your striking skills. If we have time at the end of class, I'll give you an extra challenge, a bonus challenge. Oh my God. So you need to make sure you don't waste all your time. Bradley, thank you for raising your hand. You have a question? What's your question? You know what? I'll give you a, an easier challenge. If you can get 50 at three out of the four stations. How about that? Yes. Three out of the four. Does that sound good? Yeah. All right. Now, some of you might start doing this, and you might find that it's very easy for you. So 50 might not be a very good goal for you. If that's you, then you need to set a higher goal. If I get to 60... Then I'm going to try to set a personal record for myself and get a little bit higher at the next station. Some of you might be able to get to 100, okay? So when you get to the station, set a personal record for yourself if 50 is not a big enough record for you. Okay, can anybody tell me some other sports that also use an item to strike a ball? What are some other sports where you use an item in your hands to strike a ball? James? A bat. A bat for baseball or softball? JC? Tennis. Tennis. Use a racket to strike the ball. Ping pong, use a paddle. What about golf or hockey? Okay, so there are a lot of different sports that this is going to help you get better at those because your brain will start to learn. I have an item in my hand, and I'm going to learn to hit an object with control. Pretty cool, huh? All right, when I call your name, you're going to go and get a balloon off the top of the basket. Please don't grab one off the bottom. You're going to go stand in the square. Please do not touch the items until the music starts. I repeat, please do not touch the items until the music starts. Madeline, go ahead. She's going to get a balloon. She will hold it by the tail. She will go to a square. There can only be five or six people at each square. So if there's already six people there, you need to go find a different square. Ladies, do you see how she is staying? Oh, I didn't say go. Do you see how she is standing in the square holding the balloon by the tail? Is she touching the items? Okay, ladies, get a balloon and find a square. Do balloon by the tail. Put your item in the bucket. Stand in your square. Okay, remember, friends, if your balloon hits the ground or if you stop and catch it, you got to start over counting. Now, some of you, I heard your numbers were getting very high. 
So some of you need to set a new record for, or a new goal for yourself. 50 is not going to be hard enough for you. If you made it to 100 already, then your new record needs to be to try to beat 100 at the next station. All right? Okay, please walk to your next item and try that new item. Hold your balloon by the tail. When I say go, I want to see if you know how to skip to your next station. Raise your hand if you can show me how to skip to your next station. Harrison, go ahead. Perfect. Skip. Nice job, Harrison. Please skip to your next station. Go. Okay, when I say go, I want to see you slide. This is your last station. Sliding sideways. Go. Okay, please put your balloon in your lap and please do not touch it. Please do not touch it. Okay, raise your hand if you can tell me. I want to know what item do you think was the hardest item to hit the balloon up in the air with? And I want you to be able to tell me why you think that was the hardest one. So don't just say the item. I want to know why you think it was the hardest one. What do you think, JC? I think it was that. The bowling the pin? Noodle. I think it was the noodle because... That's the noodle, not this one. You mean that one or this one? Noodle. Noodle? Why do you say noodle? Because... So hard and to, it was not fat enough to paddle it, and the ball is so big, it's so hard to keep it on the skinny piece. And so it's a lot skinnier than the other things. But I still did get a lot. So maybe the smaller it is, the harder it is to strike it. All right. So the the noodle is also floppy, so it's not as hard as the other items. Please put your balloon in your lap, but please do not touch it. Why do you think the bowling pin? Because Okay, so it's a little harder to hold. Brown? I think the frisbee is because I, if you hit it on the edge, it's just going to like bounce off and go somewhere else and you have to run to it. Okay, if you can't hold your noodle in your lap without touching it, I will take it away. I need you to, I mean your balloon in your lap without touching it, I will take it away. Okay, so we have some people that think the noodle is the hardest. Some people think the bowling pin. Some people think the frisbee. So, do we all have different opinions? Yes. Are we all different? Yes. Is that okay? Yes. Yeah, just like some of you like different sports. Some of you might be really good at dance. You might think dance is easy. Some of you might think it's really hard. Some of you might be really good at football. You might think football is easy. Some of you might think it's very hard. Okay? So, everybody's different. You have different opinions. You need to start to think about the different items that we're using and think about why is this a little bit harder for me to hit that balloon up in the air with. This is the bonus challenge. We have a little bit of time left, so please listen so you will know what you're going to be doing at the bonus challenge. For the bonus challenge, you are going to have a dot, and you have to glue your foot on the dot when you are hitting the balloon up in the air. Now, if you can get 25 hits in a row with your item, and somebody else at your station can get 25 hits in a row without moving their foot off this dot. So it's going to look like this. One foot can move around, but then your other foot has to stay glued to the dot. So if you don't have very good control, remember a strike is a hit with control, control then your balloon is going to go off. And then if you move your foot off the dot, you got to start over counting. What's your magic number? 25. 25. Now, if I get 25 and then somebody else in my... Uh, station gets 25 then I want you to try a partner challenge okay if you do a partner challenge you're just going to find a line on the ground and you're gonna practice hitting it over the line kind of like a net like a ping-pong net or a tennis net so for example Abby stand up 
you will take your balloon and you will go back and forth on the line. One person has to hit it and then the other person has to hit it. So can I hit it two times in a row like this? No, you have to hit it to the other person. You take turns going over the line back and forth. So then Abby would hit it, and then I would hit it, and then she would hit it back. Understand? So first thing you got to do is get 25 with one foot on the dot, and then you can try the partner challenge. All right? If you get 25 on the dot, and you get 25 with the partner at any station, that's our second wild challenge of the day. That's your bonus challenge. Hassan, you got a question? You're going to take the dot with you just like the balloon. That's a good question. Thank you. I forgot to take that. So when the music stops, you're just going to hold your balloon by the tail, pick up your dot, and get ready to go to the next station. Make sense? If your foot comes off the dot, then you have to start over counting. That was a good question. But if your foot comes off the dot, you've got to start over counting. Okay, please go back to the same square you were at, get your dot, and try the new challenge. Okay, friends, an awesome job on that teamwork. I saw a lot of people that were working hard. Uh, I forgot to tell you one thing. If you do have an odd number in your group, so if you have maybe a group of five or uh, one person that doesn't have a partner, you can make a group of three and do the same thing. So you just take turns in a, in a triangle, hitting the balloon and trying to make it to 25. All right? Okay, please go take your balloon and dot to the next station, 25 in a row, and then you can try the partner challenge. All right, friends. That was a great uh, first day of our striking unit. Next week, we're going to uh, make it a little more challenging by hitting a ball, which is a little harder than that balloon because it moves a little bit faster. No, okay, so if you, have, if you have a ball at home, you could practice striking that ball with your hand or with a paddle up against a wall or up in the air, and that will help you get ready for class next week. It's going to help you with all those sports that we talked about, hockey, tennis, ping pong, baseball, all those sports where you're striking an item or you're striking a ball with an item or an implement. On the way out today, if you made any of the wow challenges and you were following directions, make sure you hit that wow on the way out. If you did not make the wow challenge, everybody say, no big deal. No big deal. Bless you. If you were not following directions, you know you hit keep on trying. If you did your 100% best today, even if you did not get that wow, make sure you hit that good job on the way out. Hope you have an awesome day and a great weekend. I will see you next week.